All right. So for those of you who have machine, right, and you want to do stem separation, but every time you do stem separation, you may have had a pitch in mind where you want your stems to go over into the next group, right? So let's just say, for instance, let's say we're here in group A, right? And this select this pattern right here. If I was to do stem, let me go to sample sampling, stem separation. Let me come back over here. You see how I have this knocked down by one notch. When I use stem separation, it goes back to zero. So let me show you what will happen when we do that. Um, I'm not gonna use the rest of this, so we can just cut this out. We'll just cut it out to the first four. So we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you how this in real time and I'll make this into a video. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing this live. So if you see me stutter or hear a couple of uh, oohs or ahs or hear all that, that's because this is a live stream and I'm talking off the fly. That's, that's group A, and this is how I have it in, um, that's group D, this is how I have it in group A. So you notice the pitch difference is slightly different. The one that I had in the original group, I wanted that to go over to group D. The reason why I found this as an issue is because this will slow down your workflow if I have to control and click all of these just so I can make sure I could turn all the um, the pitches down all at once. So what you do to avoid that is you want to go to group A where your sample is, right? You go to sampling and you already did it right here. You're going to make the four bar loop that you want in the loop that you want it in. And then you go to this sample. You go to slice and you stem separate when well, I slice edit, you go to edit and you go to stem separation here When you do it here. It will retain the same pitch as you originally wanted. So for those of you who wanted to do stem separation and keep your pitch at the same time, that's how you do it. I could explain that a whole lot better and a whole lot faster. But again, I was live. Hope this helps y'all. Once again, my name is Avanon Smith and I help creatives like you find your unique sound and live a purpose driven life. If you have not already hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and most of all, share this with a friend, but also stay creative, stay purposeful, stay intentional. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Have you heard of Melodics? If you haven't, I want you to take a look at this. Melodics is a learning tool that helps music producers learn how to finger drum better, play the keyboard better, or even use electronic drums better. This is something that if you are serious about your music production journey and you want to separate yourself from people who don't know music theory or who don't know how to play the keyboard or who don't know how to finger drum, this is for you. I would highly recommend buying this. I have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. I do get a financial kickback from this. Doesn't cost you extra, but it does benefit the channel if you do click on that. So I will encourage you to check out that link and you will get a percentage off your next purchase with Melodics if you go ahead and sign up under me. So check it out down below. I'll catch you back in the, in the video.